President Trump over the weekend tweeted that he should be credited with what he called one of the best economies in the history of our country. Here for an update on the Trump economy is Michael McKee. He's Bloomberg International Economics and Policy Correspondent. Mm -hmm. Well, guys, the president is presiding over one of the best economies that we have had, but does that mean he gets credit or does that mean he is going to be reelected? That's a problem that political scientists will debate between now and November of 2020. Here are some of the data that we are looking at. The growth rate for the economy has been strong. It's picked up in recent quarters because of the tax cut. But when you put it in perspective, when you look at it over a historical period of time, this has been one of the weakest periods that we have seen. Now, is that the president's fault? We came off of the greatest recession since the Great Depression, and it took a long time to rebuild from that, which may not have anything to do with Donald Trump, but the, uh, the feelings of the voters are going to matter. Do they really feel this is a strong economy? One of the president's arguments is that the unemployment rate is at near record lows, and that is true. But if you look at the chart, President Obama saw the unemployment fall rate fall further, faster than Donald Trump. Now, the president has been in office a much shorter time than Barack Obama was, so could it keep going? It's possible some Fed officials think we could get down to 3.5 or even closer to 3. Maybe that would help the president when it comes time to run for re-election. Now, you can say that the president has had a stronger recovery in his two years than Obama did, but Obama, of course, was coming off of the Great Recession. But here's where the spending came for Donald Trump, mostly in government spending. Remember that big spending bill for defense, exports as people tried to buy stuff ahead of the trade wars, business and households still very weak. Does that suggest Americans aren't giving Donald Trump credit?